I'm going to build a foot draft of only Champions League winners. I've only got three attempts. And to make things more challenging, I can only pick a maximum of two Champions League winners from a single club. If I fail this challenge, I'm going to have to buy Mr. Champions League Team of the Year Ronaldo and discard him. That will make me cry. All right, guys, attempt number one. The strategy begins here. What formation can give us a team full of Champions League winners? I think it's got to be 4-3-3 holding. All right, my captain needs to be a Champions League winner. And looks like it is going to be one. We've got two options, Benzema and Vinicius Jr. Now, although Benzema plays in the Saudi League now, since he won the Champions League with Madrid, he will count as a Real Madrid player. Who do I want to pick, though? I think it's it's got to be Vinicius. Yep, we're starting things off with the Madrid player, Vinicius Jr. Gotta be smart though, I can only pick one more Real Madrid Champions League winner for this team. And let's hop back into the midfield and see what we can get. Uh, do we have a Champions League winner here? For this video, we're not counting the Women's Champions League, so Putelas and Bonmarti will not count. And since there's no Champions League winner here, we're picking the lowest rated player. He's anyway not gonna be a part of the team. Let's pick our CDM, come on now. Give me a Champions League winner and there are a few Champions League winners in here. Xabi Alonso is a two-time Champions League winner. He's won it for both Real Madrid and Liverpool, and that could be very helpful in building this team. The other option, of course, is Man City's Rodri, probably the best midfielder in the world, but I think we got to be smart about it. Xabi Alonso will give us big options because we'll count him as a Liverpool player, and that means we can pick another Real Madrid player for the team. Tactics, boys. Tactics. We're picking Xabi Alonso. And yeah, just to confirm, icons are going to count towards the club they won the Champions League with. All right, let's get another midfield win. Hopefully another Champions League winner. I wasn't expecting Sergio Roberto to be part of the team. Unfortunately, we don't have any other option. And the worst thing is, he's going to count towards a Barcelona player. Okay, wait, let me confirm. Was he even part of the squad that won the Champions League for Barca in 2015? Unfortunately, he was. Well, he's getting into the team, sadly. Well, technically, it's still a good start. We're just missing one Champions League winner in the midfield. And let's see if we can get that through the reserves. I mean, we do get Karim Benzema. And this time, I guess we got to pick him because he's the only Champions League winner here. But that means no more Real Madrid Champions League winners. We can't even pick them. Next player in the reserves. Ooh, Paul Scholes is a big one because that counts towards Manchester United. He won it in 1999, of course. And that completes our midfield of Champions League winners. All four players so far have won the Champions League for different clubs. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get some more winners through, of course, the reserves. Yikes. Okay, this time it's got to be better. And it is with Leo Messi. That is actually perfect. And I'm so glad he popped up. Because if any other UCL winner from Barcelona had popped up, we would have had to pick him. But I'm so glad it's Messi. We can't pick any more Barcelona Champions League winners now. But having Messi is just perfect. Final reserves player and no Champions League winner here. So we're picking the lowest rated one. Do you know what? Messi and Benzema are just going to complete our attack, to be honest. So let's just pick the striker and the right winger now. We'll pick Milito. He won the Champions League for Inter Milan. But he's getting replaced by Benzema, who we're getting in the right wing position. Actually, no Champions League winner here. Lowest rated is this guy. No worries, though. Messi's getting into the team. So far, guys, every player in our first team has got a Champions League medal to his name. But it's going to get tricky because we can't pick any more Barca or Madrid players. So... We need our bench and defensive positions to really be lucky. And okay, let's start with the goalkeeper position. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. But wait, Simon Mignolet, was he part of the Liverpool squad at least that won the Champions League? Oh my days, he frauded his way to a Champions League medal. I can't believe it. He was part of the squad. That is so freaking lucky for us. It counts. And I can't believe Mignolet is getting into this team with such crazy players. Let's see if the bench can give us a better goalkeeper. And yup, it does. Alisson, who's won the Champions League with Liverpool. But wait a second. We've already counted Xabi Alonso Alonso as a Liverpool player. Mignolet as a Liverpool player. Ha, <sighs> what bad luck, boys. Nope. We can't pick Alisson. Nobody else has won the Champions League, so we're literally going to have to pick the lowest rated player. I'm telling you, this challenge is tough. 
But so far, every player in this first team has somehow won the Champions League. All right, let's get into the left back spot. Come on, give me a Champions League winner here. We get Roberto Carlos. In fact, we get two Roberto Carlos. But we've already got our two Real Madrid Champions League winners. Nah, we can't pick him. Sean Andres has also won the Champions League for Liverpool. But we've got our two winners from Liverpool as well. Ah, this challenge is tough. We're picking the lowest rated player. Let's see who we're getting in the right back position now. Please tell me Masraoui has won the Champions League. No, he hasn't. We're again picking the lowest rated player. Centre back again. No Champions League winner here. Final centre back. This is this is going really bad. Oh, we do get Varane. But uh, we've already got our Champions League winners from Real Madrid. Can't pick Ede Militao as well. Bro, this is, this is crazy bad luck. We started off so well, but now we've got four defenders that we need to somehow replace with the bench. I don't even think that's possible. By the way, guys, before we pick our next few players, I'd really appreciate if you could take a moment and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Okay, we have got a Champions League winner that we can pick. Eusebio, he won the European Cup with Benfica, and that does count. So we will pick him, but we actually need defenders right now. That's the problem. Ah, no Champions League winner here that we can officially pick, so we'll go with the lowest rated one. Same here, boys. This is this is going from bad to worse. Oh, and again. We've got two defender spots. We need to get lucky here. But would you believe it? Nobody here has won the Champions League. Once again, picking the lowest rated player. I think this first foot draft, we're absolutely failing. Yep, even our final pick, no Champions League winner. We kind of came close, guys. With seven Champions League winners in the first team, it's just that we couldn't get the defenders. But you know what? I'm not giving up. Attempt number two, guys, and this time, I've got a strategy. Let's start by picking 4-3-3 attack as our formation. Ah, oh, this is a stinky selection of picks. Morientes is the only one that's won the Champions League here, and he's won it for Real Madrid. Oh, that's gonna count towards a Madrid player. Of course, we're picking him, but I've got a new strategy for this draft. We'll start with our defensive players, because I don't want to run out of clubs before getting to the defense, because I feel like that's the hardest. See, I told you, like, this is so bad. Nobody here has even come close to a Champions League. Come on, at least someone decent in the centre-back spots. No way. What is my luck with defenders? I can't believe this, boys. Lucio is a Champions League runner-up, but he's never actually won it. Once again, we're starting off on the back foot. Left back, though, we've got Theo Hernandez, but that's going to count towards a Real Madrid player, which is never good so early on. And right back, no Champions League winner. Bro, if we can't get defenders that have won the Champions League in the bench, reserves. We've like instantly failed this challenge. Okay, let's start with our two defensive spots. These need to be really big. I want to cry. I, I really do want to cry. Come on, at least give me one. Ah, Frimpong is amazing, but he's never won the Champions League. Danilo has won it for Real Madrid, but we've already got our two Real Madrid players. Ah, this is, this is horrendous. Okay, what about the reserves? A bit of luck here would be nice. Okay, this is big. We've got Cafu and Schweinsteiger, but I think I should go with defenders right now. Cafu who won the Champions League for AC Milan. That's a big pick for us. But I don't think it's big enough. Let's see the next few ones. We do get Nemanja Vidic. That's absolutely perfect. He won it for Manchester United. We need more winners from these kind of clubs because, you know, that's how we'll be able to build a full team of Champions League winners. The reserves are actually coming through. We just need one more good defender. Okay, nobody here has won it. So we just picked Diaby. We just need one more defender in these last couple of picks and, and we're actually back in it. Ah, well, well, we're not gonna get one, are we? In fact, none of these players here have won the Champions League. Final pick from the reserves, we do get McManaman, but we've already picked our two Champions League winners in Morientes and Theo Hernandez from Real Madrid, so he doesn't count either. Ah, we're just missing one defender. Let's actually see if we can get a goalkeeper that's won the Champions League, and we actually can. Alisson from Liverpool is absolutely perfect for this. But hold on. You know what? I don't want to write this draft off. We're only missing a centre-back so far. Everybody else has won the Champions League. Let's see if the midfield can give us a bit of luck. And it can, because we've got Kevin De Bruyne, who is going to count towards Man City. Although it's such a shame we can't go with Zidane, because we've maxed out our Madrid players. But KDB will do the trick. There's still hope, guys. There is absolutely still hope. But it's being crushed right here. All right, come on. Give me someone big in the camp spot. Wesley Snyder, he's won it for Inter. That's perfect. We'll pick him. 
these are the kind of picks we need. We need to get really lucky now in the attacking positions. Perfect, boys. We get Mo Salah. He will be our second Liverpool player, but that's perfect. Come on, a bit of luck in the left winger position as well. Killing Mbappe, but he's not won the Champions League. Mbappe. I can't believe Mbappe is ineligible for this video. That is actually crazy. Diaz hasn't won it. He wasn't part of that Liverpool team. We again pick the lowest rated player. We're just missing one centre back, one midfielder and a left winger. And we've got four picks. If we can somehow get all three of those, that would just be crazy. Come on, come on. A bit of luck here. Pele never played in Europe, but Coman has. He won it for Bayern Munich, of course. And I don't think we've got a single player from Bayern Munich so far. We're choosing him. And there you go. That's our left wing position sorted. All we need, a center mid and a center back. Come on, please. I need a bit of luck here. Oh, Jude Bellingham. I was so happy to see him first. But then I realized he's not won the Champions League yet. Oh. Anyways, we're out of Real Madrid picks. <sighs> That's a bit of an L. Second last pick. Do something for me, game. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe not because we can't pick Rodrigo. Sterling's never won it. Leao as well. Dybala either. Another massive L. Final pick. And yep, we have failed our attempt number two as well. We can't pick Johan Cruyff because he's won the European Cup for Ajax. And I guess we can do this putting Cruyff at Cam and Wesley Snyder in midfield, but we still are missing a center back. Just one center back and we would have completed attempt number two. Well, guys, I've got one last attempt to build a foot draft with a Champions League winner in every position. The pressure's on. It's now my final attempt. Team of the year, Ronaldo's on the line. We've got to get it done. I'm thinking this time, let's go with a super attacking formation. Maybe that'll help us out even more. And our captaincy choices. Don't know if this is good or bad. We've got a couple of options here. Going with the Real Madrid centre-back in Hierro or Liverpool's Sadio Mane. Guys, from what I've noticed, getting defenders is a lot harder. So let's go with Hierro. But that's a Real Madrid player we've already picked. Okay, let's let's straight away get into the defenders. This is where I'm gonna get anxiety. And we might be using up another Real Madrid player here. Because Rafa Moran is the only Champions League winner among all of these. The good thing is, we've got two Champions League winners from two picks. But that's two Real Madrid winners that we've already used up. We're gonna need players from other clubs. We're gonna need centre-backs from other clubs. And we don't get anyone. But you know what? That's not too bad of a start. I think we could get another centre to back from the bench or reserves. Let's pick the goalkeeper though. That's a big spot where we do get Edison. That's a solid Man City player. I'm not sure if Lev Yashin has won the European Cup back in his time. And yup, sadly I was right. Yashin has not won the Champions League or the European Cup. Edison's the only real option. But hey, at least we've got a Champions League winning goalkeeper now. Okay, let's see what are our options in the midfield. Frankie de Jong has not won the Champions League, I think, but Park Ji Sung, for sure he has. Yes, indeed, for Manchester United in 2008. That's the kind of player we need. Come on, please. Get me another midfielder. Get me another Champions League winning midfielder. Perfect. Oh, we've got options. We could go either with Bernardo Silva. Fede Valverde, of course, we can't pick. We've maxed out Madrid. But Leon Goretzka from Bayern Munich has also won the Champions League. I think we'll go with Goretzka because I'm sure there are a few more City players we can get. That's awesome, boys. This is, I think, the best start we've had with Champions League winners. Just that one set center back that's missing. Come on, let's get a bit of luck with the wingers. And why is this glitched? Does not matter though, because there's Sadio Mane chilling there. And we haven't picked a Liverpool player so far. This is turning out to being the perfect draw. Please, let's not jinx it. Let's continue the streak. I mean, we were bound to get a few duds, but still, it's a good start. We've already got six Champions League winners in the team. The attack though is going to be really important. And we start off with Frank Ribery. He's won it for Bayern Munich. He's going to be our second Bayern player. That's absolutely perfect. We're going with him. Two more positions. Right wing is important. I would love a Leo Messi. We get Kingsley Coman and he's won the Champions League, but we can't pick him because we've already got two Bayern players in there. That's the difficult thing about this challenge. Come on, striker. We can get a big boy Champions League winner in here. Gabriel Jesus. 
no, I think he left Man City before he could win the Champions League. Robbie Keane has not won it either. All right, guys. So we end the first 11 with seven Champions League winners. We just need four more from the bench. Please, please give me the luck. First reserves is absolutely perfect. And Johan Cruyff won the European Cup for Ajax. Salah would be a real option too. But I think I'd rather save the Liverpool pick because we could still maybe get VVD. Let's go with Johan Cruyff for now. Put him into that first team. Now we just need three more Champions League winners. Come on. Reserves have clutched up for us so far. Let's keep hoping for the best. And nope, there's bound to be a bit of bad luck. But I'm hoping that ends now. No, it doesn't. Because we get Puskas, who would be amazing. But we've already picked our two Madrid players. Come on, man. We, we need a bit of luck here, please. And we don't get luck. And Nacho has not won the Champions League. Benzema is from Madrid. We can't pick him. This is really bad. Final player from the reserves. And okay, we get Petr Cech. That's a Champions League winner from Chelsea. And we've got Zeno Champions. Champions League winners from Chelsea. So this works for now. We'll pick check. The bench is now going to need to save me, boys. We, we we need three Champions League winners. This is freaking nerve-wracking, man. And we get Rude Hullet. That is brilliant. He's won the European Cup for AC Milan. This might save the challenge, boys, because Hullet can go into the centre-back slot or even attacker, because look at his stats. This guy can literally play anywhere. Come on, come on. Let's keep the luck going. Let's keep the luck going. Carincha. Jairzinho. Messi. Messi's perfect. We haven't gotten a single Barcelona Champions League winner yet. Of course we're picking Messi. Come on. He can go, of course, in the right wing position. I think this is the draft. I think we are completing it this time. Come on. One more attacker. Ah, of course we had to run out of luck. Still four picks remaining. My hopes are pretty high. And we get Riyad Mahrez. Luka Modric we can't pick. Has one Quadrado won the Champions League? I don't think he has. But Mahrez? We've only picked Edison, I think, from Man City. Yup. Mares should count. The second Man City player we're picking. With that, I think we technically have 11 Champions League winners in the first team. Yup, as things stand, we're going to complete the challenge. Final couple of players. Can we add to it though? Roberto Carlos. Well, we've already maxed out our Real Madrid players, so he's not getting in. But in the next pick, we do get Ashley Cole. And I'm pretty sure from Chelsea, we've only got checks so far. Ashley Cole won the Champions League for Chelsea in 2012. He gets into the team too. And now we got options. We could put Cole in defense, Rude Hullet in midfield, Park Ji Song on the right, Messi in right wing. And yes, indeed, we've got a full team of Champions League winners and we followed the rules as well. Oh, of course, the final attempt had to be terrible. But we've completed the challenge, boys. This was hard. Thankfully, though, I won't have to buy Team of the Year Ronaldo and discard him. That, that makes me happy. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me build a team of the most treacherous footballers of all time. Click here to watch that.